What if I told you that you really didn't appreciate Dragon Ball? And I know coming from my channel, that might seem funny because I like to point out the fact that, you know, anime has gone past Dragon Ball. I mean, there's no denying the fact that without Dragon Ball, most of the anime that we have today, we wouldn't have. But I think even still, we don't really appreciate just how much of an impact Akira Toriyama had on anime today. If you're like me and you enjoy shonen anime and more specifically anime like the big three, One Piece, Bleach, and Naruto, you have to understand. I have to take more time to reflect on the fact that I don't have those anime, I don't have those characters without Akira Toriyama. Dragon Ball completely changed the game. A lot of people like to have the debate if it's part of the big three. It doesn't matter if it's part of the big three. There is no big three without Dragon Ball. There is specifically no Bleach without Akira Toriyama. But aside from that, the impact, the influence of Dragon Ball can be felt all throughout anime. From the power systems, to the character designs, to the worlds, to the way stories unfold. All of that can be directly traced back to Dragon Ball and Akira Toriyama. And it's unfortunately the way it, life is. It's not until something is gone that you stop and take a minute to reflect and appreciate and realize how important this thing is. So I think today I'm going to dedicate all my content to talking about Dragon Ball and what it means to me, which I know sounds crazy because I like to make fun. But in all seriousness, Dragon Ball and Akira Toriyama changed anime for the better. And I just want to say thank you. And hopefully, like me, you'll appreciate it more because Akira Toriyama and Dragon Ball changed anime.